Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you this LED light accessory for the D-Light enclosure. Let's get started. So here's an overview of the printed parts. We have the outer covers here, which are printed in black. Here's the back piece that mounts to the rear wall of the enclosure. The LED switch fits into this cutout, as you'll see in a second. You also need four nuts and four bolts, as you can see here. There's also two blue bolt plugs so that the attachment bolts fit right. And here's the LED lights and the five volt power brick that's included in each D-Light enclosure kit. For assembly, let's start out by adding two nuts to the back support mount and the other two nuts to the covers. Make sure the nuts are fully seated, especially for the LED covers because they're pretty deep. You can use an Allen wrench to push them all the way in. Once the nuts are in place, the next step is to thread the LED light through the back support mount. After pulling the LED strip all the way through, you'll see that there's a place to insert the switch into the print. For the wire that is coming out of the enclosure, you'll need to fold that back on itself. There's also cutouts for the wires to fit inside and let the wire come out through the bottom hole. You can gently pull on the wires once everything's in place to make it fit a little bit better. It's a tight fit, but the switch should stay in place once you have it positioned correctly. Next, it's time to lay out all the inserts, which are the blue pieces in this case. Make sure you put the straight piece with the cutouts closest to the hexagon because these cutouts interlock with the covers to keep everything in place. Now you can thread the LED strip through everything. I don't bother with removing the adhesive strip because I don't think it's really needed. After that, it's time to add the covers. The Y cover is a little tricky. I ended up removing the rear mounting piece temporarily so I could get it positioned. The reason there are 45 degree angles on the end of each piece is so that the pieces in the middle that are attached to the ceiling can support all the other pieces. The next cover to add is the front cover and then you can add the two middle covers after that. Now that the LED is assembled, it's time to add it to the ceiling. Prepare the enclosure by removing the ceiling and the existing back support piece. After taking the ceiling off, I found that the easiest method to adding the LED light was to slide one hand underneath the plexiglass to position the light and then use the other hand to bolt it into place. Another option is to position the ceiling piece on its side and add it that way. Once the LED light is attached to the ceiling, it's time to put it on the enclosure. Make sure that the wire is outside of the enclosure and that the two nuts are inserted into that rear support piece. Now that the ceiling is in place, you can use the LED cable to pull up on that support piece to line it with the rear holes so that you can add the bolts. I had to reach through the enclosure to make sure that the nuts would catch as you can see here. Remember to always remove the rear bolts if you want to take the top off the enclosure from now on. I also made this simple cable management solution. It keeps the LED wire and the power cable next to each other like this. Now it's time to plug everything in and hit the switch. It's a little hard to show in the video, but the LED does a good job of illuminating the printer without being too bright. So that's about it for this video. If you want some more information on the D-Light enclosure, check out our link down below. We're already sold out of our early bird offer, but we have a special bonus offer that we're running for a limited time. So make sure you go ahead and sign up now. And if you want to see some more videos, make sure you're subscribed. We have some more accessories planned for the D-Light that we'll be showing in the future. Thanks for taking the time to watch and see you in the next one. Bye.